What I learned from Konami is that they are completely okay with something failing. They failed before Cross Duel came out with Master Duel on mobile. They let Master Duel on mobile die and they don't care. I already knew Konami is willing to let something fail before Cross Duel. They let Master Duel fail on mobile and I refuse to believe that they have no fix for mobile. The mobile client for Master Duel is there's extra seconds of lag on every action. And you know you're playing against a mobile player when they constantly have the connection area, area on the profile. Constantly. And that is with a perfect connection. Perfect Wi-Fi, perfect everything. And they will still have the disconnection symbol over and over and over with a continually lag duel. And it is really sad because Macedon Mobile had a great release. It was large. And at bed at night, I would like to maybe play some cross duel. I would play cross duel on mobile all the time, but they let it freaking die. On release, it had a ton of people. And then, you, you know, you could say, oh, but it's a PC game. Yes, but it could also be played on mobile and they let the mobile client die. They let it die. It's too late now. I don't know what they could even do if they were to go back and to fix it, if it would even matter. Probably not. I feel like Master Duel was sold to the executives as a low maintenance game. They're like, all right, we're just gonna release this. Then we don't have to really put a lot of devs on it. We don't have to put a lot of engineers on it. Just maybe they hired a temporary dev team to release the game. And then now they're doing something else. I don't know. Did they move the Master Duel devs to Cross Duel? Because they're thinking the release of the game is all that mattered. Now let's move the devs to make a new game that's gonna fail anyway. There can only be one winner. And you're looking at it. Let's go. Also, I have a picture of my cat. But don't worry about that. Master Duel. What the hell? Master Duel on Android Mobile. Just diving, nose diving. And it, it was over 100K players. Over 100K and is just dying. Now, I mean, the game overall is losing players over a long period of time. Let's look at that real quick. Is Master Duel dying? Or is it just very slowly bleeding out? I don't know if dying is a strong, too strong of a word to be using, but to always be in the red. There has not been a month where they ever plussed. That's concerning. What am I supposed to do about that? Do I, uh, I mean, it still has more players than Duel Links, but is this going to become lower than Duel Links one day? <laughs> it's like from September to October? 3,000 player loss? That's a large loss. Y you would think that it maybe the, the, the L's kind of slowed down. We went from 20K to 19, but then we lost 3K average players? What the hell? It's continually going down. Let's look at Steam Charts Duel Links. Now, there's a lot of red, but there's also a lot of green. You know, there, there's good months, there's bad months. Duel Links has never recovered since the release of Master Duel. If we look at the average players, 9,000 on the release of, so this was about 11 months, 10 months after the global release on mobile, it came to Steam. And you know, pretty good player. This is average players, pretty decent, pretty decent. And then Master Duel came out. So we're looking at Duel Links right now. We went from 7,800 average players, and this is concurrent. This means that over a day of dueling, this is maybe, 70,000 players. Then it went down to 38. And the New World came out and it's it did not have a grand re rebirth. Not really. The New World came out and it's still kind of, you know, that's just how Duel Link's going to be and I guess that's fine. It might have some green months and red months, but we compare this to Master Duel, which is only red. Only red. And if you want to look at another game that's potentially, you would call it dead, that's no longer dead, 
is New Worlds. Look at this game. It released. This is similar to Master Duel, is it not? 155 concurrent. I mean, this is crazy, but I think the 155 concurrent, we kind of had that with Master Duel. Let's look at that real quick. Master Duel had a massive release and then just fell off 162K. But then look, when are we gonna have our New Worlds moment where this is, it went to basically less than Master Duel. Master Duel is at how many players right now? 16K, New Worlds was at 13K and then a new expansion or new servers came out. What is, could Master Duel even have that moment? I don't think so. It can't, I mean, this is it. This is Master Duel. So I'm really worried about the future because all that there is to look forward to is just new cards. And you tell me, what does Master Duel need to do to get returning players to get back in the game, to get new players into the game? I don't know what's going on here, but I already showed you a video where Konami lied to us. So if you haven't, didn't see that video, Konami lied to us about Master Duel, where they did not, they said that we would have tournaments for casual and competitive players. I know if you're a casual player, you might be saying, oh, I don't care about tournaments. There's casual players on TCG. All they do is play weekly tournaments. There could be casual tournaments. There was early on in the game, they leaked that there would be a classic mode. Classic mode. Let me see if I could get the assets on it. It could be difficult for me to find old leaks. But the classic, what is this? What is this? We need this. How about this be a forever mode? Because we have a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh boomers that come to Master Duel that are content creators and all they do is role play duel each other all day in, in their own classic mode. Just make this, I think, a permanent mode. We need a permanent classic mode for people to enjoy. I, I really think so. The boomers are overwhelmed by this stuff and then also have some kind of tournament mode with this. Maybe, I don't know. They gotta do something, cause the game's bleeding. It's bleeding. Do a big classic mode announcement, pay a bunch of streamers and content creators to promote it, and then maybe that is Konami's way to finally see green, finally. A big problem with card games is that card games is more than just dueling. Card games is dueling and deck building. Not everyone likes to build decks. So I do think a card game needs to way where a way where you could skip building decks and just duel. And then believe it or not, not everyone likes dueling that as much as building a deck. The journey, the experience of building a deck. So maybe a game mode that emphasizes building a deck where maybe they give you choices, right? Some kind of draft mode. Some I think that does kind of well in other card games. Maybe give us like a three card choice and that could be fun. All the progression series are about that, right? More so building the deck is the excitement than actually dueling. You're just kind of seeing what happens after you build the deck. They gotta do more. They have to do more. They just gotta do more. Please, come on.